I will jump to the next section then. So um, we're now going to review the requirements for export breeding sheep to Mexico. And some of the some of the requirements are the same as for the US. Um, so the appropriate certificate is HA1385 and again begins with the tombstone information. And then sections one to five uh, stipulate that the animals uh, are of Canadian origin where there's a ruminant feed ban in place and the animals are free of diseases including brucellosis, screwworm, PB, blue tongue, medivisna, campy, and chlamydiosis. Uh, section six stipulates that the animals must be inspected within 48 hours of export. So it's, uh, it's a bit more of a tricky uh, timing um, situation for this export. And they have to be found free of clinical signs originate from a premise where no cases of mycoplasma agalactae have been diagnosed in the past six months. Um, and then in section seven, we get into the scrapey uh, specifications. There have been no cases of classical scrapey in the flock of origin in the past five years prior to export. The flock is not currently under a scrapey investigation and the flock is certified under the SFCP or individual animals to be exported are of genotype AARR or AAQR. So again, you have the option of genotyping. And then section eight states, the sheep have been tested for Brucella ovis as per section nine. And in section nine, it states that the exported animals must have been kept in isolation on the premises of origin for a minimum of 30 days. And during that time, tested negative for medivisna if they're older than one year of age and for chlamydia abortus and brucella ovis. And section 10 states, the animals have not been vaccinated against ORF within 60 days of export. Section 11, provide the space to indicate the product name and date of insecticide treatment. And this must be given uh, within 14 days of export. Section 12 through 14 specify that export animals must be inspected by the accredited veterinarian within 48 hours of departure and found to be free of disease, ectoparasite, within 30 days prior to export in order to facilitate examination at the Mexican border. And then finally, again, the vehicles used for transport must have been cleaned and disinfected prior to loading. So again, we have the page with the animal identification list. And again, at the bottom, we have a signature for certification by the accredited vet and by the CFIA. Um, and then it's transported by land across the US to Mexico and in transit permit is required by the USDA. And the electronic application for the transit permit can be found on the USDA website. Uh, and this is just a little screenshot of what it looks like at the top. Um, if this type of export is being considered, it is also important to know that the animals must be fed, watered, and rested during transportation um, across the U.S. following the existing U.S. domestic animal transport regulations, which is a minimum of at least once every 28 hours. And that's, that's it. So if there's any questions on that section or anything else, 